Madam Presiding Officer, thank you. Members, good afternoon. I take note of the minority leader's persistence this afternoon in asking follow-up questions. So I hope that at the end of my answer, he is satisfied in his mind that I have answered him. As it relates to the recommencement of direct international flights to the ANR Robinson International Airport, there are two airlines operating for the period January to April 2022. British Airways recommenced operations on 10th January and Virgin Atlantic on 29th January 2022. For the period January to April 2022, there were a total of 2,392 passenger arrivals to Tobago, which represented an 80.8% decline in international passenger arrivals from the total of 12,445 for the same period in 2019. So please permit me to read into the record the breakdown by month. So in January 2019, we had 3,129 passengers. In 2022, we had 400. February, we had 3,689 passengers. For 2022, we had 832. For March, we had 3,215 passengers. For March 2022, we had 610. In April 2019, we had 2,416 passengers. In 2022, we had 550. British Airways was responsible for 80.1% of arrivals from January to April 2022 with 1,916 passengers. However, when compared for the same period in 2019, there was a 44.5% decline in arrivals from 3,450. Virgin Atlantic was responsible for 19.3% of arrivals from January to April 2022, with 462 passengers arriving on the airline. However, when compared to the same period in 2019, there was a 76.5% decline in arrivals from a total of 1,968. So I will now read the breakdown by airline. In January 2019, British Airways brought in 680 passengers. In 2022, they brought in 390. In February 2019, 1,053. 2022, February, 598. March 2019, 927 passengers. 2022, 455. In April 2019, they brought in 790 passengers. And in 2022, 473. It must be noted that there's a vast difference in the time periods as the former period of 2019 was pre-COVID, while the comparative period for 2022 are the immediate recovery months after our borders were closed for nearly two years. During the January to April 2019 period, Tobago was already also directly serviced by Condor, Sunwing, and Caribbean Airlines, while Thomas Cook operated from January to March 2019. It is also instructive to note that during the period March 2020 to December 2021, when this administration took office, marketing spend for the destination continued in spite of the fact that our borders were closed and we were unable to receive any international flights or passengers. The then Board of Directors of the Tourism Agency, a board that both members of the Minority Council served on during the period 2018 to 2021, continued to rubber stamp the payment of marketing fees to international agencies for the entire period of lockdown. In the last year alone, total marketing spend was close to 8 million TT dollars. Numbers do not lie. And it's clear to me as secretary that we are not presently seeing return on investments. And these investments were done by the previous administration. It is actually disheartening to know that these flights that are currently operating out of the UK are leaving almost on a weekly basis filled to capacity and the majority of passengers disembark in Antigua and Barbados. However, these marketing arrangements are currently being reviewed by the new board ably led by Ms. Alicia Edwards, who I'm certain will ensure that one, Tobago sees an increase in direct airlift from international destinations, with a resultant increase in international passenger arrivals to Tobago. Two, 
A review of our current contractual arrangements with these airlines is done to ensure that we are receiving value for money. And three, that we review and revamp our marketing efforts across all current and new source markets to ensure that Brand Tobago receives the attention that it deserves and we can begin to solidly position ourselves in the minds of travelers as the greatest little island on the planet. Madam Presiding Officer, I thank you.